Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Audi A4 2 litre TDI S Line Black Edition, finished off in Ibis White. First things first, going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the vehicle once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we used to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. This vehicle in particular has two owners total and full service history moving back around to the uh, beginning now so we're going to zoom back in and we'll look over the car panel by panel so the near side front wing looks in good condition both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good near side front alloy nice condition alloy but we like curb into the outer edge so we'll be refurbished prior to sale and the near side front tire has approximately four or five mil remaining near side front wing one light might just be polished up and touched in there as you can see doors look in pretty good condition and the rear quart looks good too. Near side rear alloy, same again, a nice condition alloy but light curbing so will be refurbished prior to sale. The near side rear tyre is nearly new with a good 5 or 6 mil. Looking down the near side now from uh, rear to front, near side rear quarter looks in good condition. Near side rear and near side front doors look good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, Rear bumper looks in good condition, a few light marks along the lower plastic. That parking sensor has just been pushed out, so we'll have that rectified in our workshop prior to sale. And that plastic there just needs to be refitted a bit better if we can in our workshop. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition. Rear screen looks good, and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well. Looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front, Offside rear quarter looks good, both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy looks in good condition with light curb into the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale and the offside rear tyre approximately 5 or 6 mil. Light marks just to be touched in along that bumper corner there. Panels look good, wing looks good, offside front alloy same again light curbing so will be refurbished prior to sale and the offside front tyre approximately five or six mil. Back down the offside now front to rear, offside front wing looks good, both offside doors look in good condition and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself. As you can see all lights and grills look in good condition and as for the front bumper for the age and mileage of the car looks in good condition too. To be fair that light marks come off with my finger one or two tiny marks just to be polished up and touched in that you'd expect of a car of this age, but nothing major. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork looks in good condition. No major dents or scratches. But again, for a car of this age, you expect one or two light stone chips just to be polished up and touched in prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. No major chips or cracks on this screen. Couple of light surface markings on the driver's side, but nothing major at all, so good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior, starting in the boot. Decent sized boot on these A4s. We've got 60-40 split folding rear seats. All carpets and plastics look in good condition, other than light wear and tear. Those mats, if the fall this car and fits, are bonuses. We don't supply floor mats for any of our vehicles. And as you can see under the boot lid, all the uh, inner plastics look in good condition as well. Moving through now, rear door cards look good. And there you have the half leather, half cloth rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats, charcoal headliner throughout in good condition, back to both front seats look good, and the rear carpets look in good condition too. Moving through the front, front door cards look good, S-line kick plates and front carpets in good condition, and there you have the front S-line half and half seats, bolsters still firm, holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears. Very light mark in the seat there that we'll try and uh, wet back out the best we can. Jumping in, passenger seats in good condition, if not slightly better. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. So we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. We've got the manual boot release switch, upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker systems, automatic lights and wipers in this car. Moving across, we've got cruise control and the stock just underneath the indicators. 
Up the centre console now, we've got the fully adjustable leather armrest, two usable cup holders, uh, traction control, stop start, and you've got full parking sensors with optical display as well. So we've got the automatic transmission and electronic parking brake, dual climate control, air conditioning, and uh, rear heated screen. Moving up, there are all your MMI controls that we're now going to work through whilst actually looking at the screen. So as you can see, we've got full telephone prep. In media, we have a few options, including CD player, SD card, reader, and uh, Audi multimedia interface. And in the radio, we've got DAB and a couple of other options. Back over to the driver's side, we'll finish off with this flat bomb S-Line leather-bound multifunction steering wheel with the optional flappy panels. And this car's on a very reasonable 59,691 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.